program from uh, Jerez and from yeah. Rioja and both very traditional bodegas so could you first of all um, explain who you are okay my name is Lorenzo García Iglesias I'm general manager for Bodegas Tradición very small uh, sherry house boutique sherry house specialized in very old and uh, traditional sherries thank you hello and I am Jose Luis Ripa I come from Bodegas López de Redia Viña Tondonia in Rioja Spain as well, we're also considered one of the most uh, classic and traditional wineries, and we're one of the oldest in, in Rioja. And you both are very focused on um, very old wines because you let them um, mature very long mm. in oak. Yes. Both of you. Uh, it's quite far away from Rioja to Jerez. Yes. But uh, you have the similar um, focus of your, uh, not of the making of the wine, but maturing of the wine to go to the market. And uh, you had a very interesting explanation of the, because today you talk about modern Rioja and traditional Rioja, but you said yourself that it it's quite similar. So could you explain in short words? Sure, indeed. Uh some other Riojas uh, are today considered the wines that are most respectful to the to the land they come from, the ones that have less uh, intervention uh, in the winery, so that you know you taste the wine and, and, and you feel the land where they come from. Uh, that's the basis of, of many modern Riojas. And that's also the philosophy that, that, that is behind the making of, of all the wines that we make at Tondonia. So, so what is the difference then? Well, perhaps the main difference that I've found are uh, longer aging times uh, in our case, a bit shorter aging times in the case of, of, uh, of other uh, so-considered uh, modern wineries. Uh, but my bet is that after 10 years, uh, these so-called modern wines or our wines may be more similar than most people may think. So, uh, what is the main difference if you compare your sherries compared to other sherries? What is so special with Bodegas Tradición? Purity. So, uh, anything we, we do in Jerez is uh, not uh, in, 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 in Bodegas Tradición, is uh, aim to not to uh, alter the conditions, natural conditions of, a, uh, of the wines in the wood. So we, we just want the wines to be pure, pure as they are. Uh, and, and they, they truly are very pure, very elegant and very balanced. And uh, your new product, the Fino, you hadn't done that so many years. No, it's a, it's a new new launch. We, we just uh, launched the Fino, <coughs> which is um, very limited, uh, and it's uh, these these bottles uh, come from the May 2013 bottling. Uh, it was uh, only uh, 1,500 bottles, from which uh, there are a few here in in Sweden, and uh, it is uh, you know it's uh, a runner-up for us. So uh, soon it will be there will be more bottles, uh, hopefully, and uh, it will be available to more people. I hope so, because it, it's uh, very different from many other finos that are more, maybe... <sighs> this is more complex, I think. It's much more complexity, but still it has that uh, elegance that a fino should have, mm -hmm. and that really nice mineral saltiness in the aftertaste. I think it's, it's great, and it's so difficult to find a really uh, a complex fino like that. But you don't make your own wines, you buy in um, from uh, Almacenistas exactly. and then you, mm -hmm. you store it, you mature the wines. Exactly. Uh, well, it is, uh, we're going backwards in this uh, project. We started with very old wines, now we're bottling a bit younger. Mm. I, I don't see far away uh, the time when we will buy our own, uh, our own, our own vineyards. Mm. Um, but for the moment, uh, there is, you know, there is an excess of offer 
in the market and you can buy you know very good uh, young wines um, already you know ready to go into the winery for aging without taking the risk of uh, having our own in your own land which is you know always a bit you know risky for for a, for a newcomer so uh, I think uh, that will happen in the in the near future I don't know maybe 10 years five years 10 years but I I can foresee that 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 is something that it will happen. Mm. For now, as you said, we, we buy from different producers, um, wineries, stockists, cooperatives, uh, whoever um, is offering a certain level of quality that could match uh, our styles. That's mm. very important. Could you just short say something about the harvest 2013? Because I've been to Mosul and we we harvested, it was quite a big, big problem with hail <laughs> and delayed harvest and a lot of rain, so everybody had to run out and pick whatever was <laughs> still there. Was it the same in Rioja? Well, unfortunately, yes. It's been a very difficult harvest. Uh, we had a delay of over three weeks. Uh, but the good thing is that, well, we had everything we had. Here storms, we had many, many uh, inconvenient things. But at the end, uh, the good thing is that we have not had any, any rain during harvest, so we could uh, pick the grapes uh, without stops, uh, meaning that we have finished uh, quite early. And uh, when you have a difficult harvest, a difficult year like 2013, uh, you have to go through a deeper uh, selection of the grapes mm. and uh, that allows sometimes for, for uh, great wines mm. because in an excellent year like for example 2001 everything is good mm. and uh, wineries uh, if not relax they don't do uh, such a through selection as we have done in this oh, year yeah, so uh, I anticipate and we may we may even make Grand Reserva in mm. 2013, will be a small a small amount, but we have uh, seen some some wines of excellent quality. Not the overall thing, but some of them they are uh, excellent. That's so let's see. That's great. And in Jerez, do you know anything about the harvest? Of the harvest is every day, every year is earlier. Yeah. So global warming is affecting us badly. Yeah. Um, I think this year. Uh, the harvest started uh, August 15th, mm -hmm. more or less, for, s for most of the people. That's early. So yeah, so by the end of, uh, you know, mid-September, harvest was over. So mm. um, uh, not too many years ago, uh, the, what it was called the Harvest Festival in Jerez, mm. and I still have some posters of that. It was, you know, mid-September, so mm. we, we have you know, we have to 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 adapt to to the to the weather, and and it is now uh, mid-August. But you know, it's in Jerez, harvest is not such a big issue. No. it so, what happened afterwards. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is not very, very important. Thank you very much, and cheers for for seeing your great Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.